What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, of course. Go to my channel. I've never seen what I upload. I upload secrets, tips and tricks, Easter eggs, and guides to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. Today, we're checking out one of the most interesting spots in Red Dead Redemption 2. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, there's two very interesting spots that I want to showcase to you guys. And the second spot is much more interesting than the first one. But I believe they might go hand in hand. Now, this location in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a native burial site. Now, at this burial site, someone has been buried here. And when you first arrive here for yourself in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can hear some really creepy noises. Let's listen real quick. You guys can hear... very loud winds just when you stand in the middle now if you come to this spot and you play gta 5 you'll actually unlock this hatchet right here it's a pretty cool hatchet uh it's only accessible if you play gta 5 online you would get this hatchet for free in red dead redemption 2 but we're not here to dig out some old native dude out of the ground today we're checking out a very very weird and creepy spot and what was that did you guys see that weird flash did you guys see that please tell me you guys saw that when i left the burial site that was weird i don't know am i crazy i don't know what that was maybe i'm just crazy but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a pagan like i don't even know what it's like a take to empty a register you were shaking oh. like a shitting dog i thought your brother was a slow one yes i got that wrong didn't i Don't they robbed something you doing all right there <laughs> you best go and find yourself a nice place to relax hey sick man go die somewhere else what you got make you dead huh uh spoiler alert Spoiler alert, a hole. I never even met this guy before. How did how did he what? We got some billfolds here. These guys just crashed their their wagon on the side of the road. I wish Red Dead Online had stuff like this. NPCs that randomly spawn, that crash their carts, and money comes flying out. That would be great. But unfortunately, online doesn't have that. And regardless of that, I'm gonna need this guy's body. Because today, we're making some sacrifices. This guy's already dead, but he's already here. We're going to end up getting someone that's alive later on in this video. I want to make sure that we try this method out with some people that are alive as well. Now, if you guys don't know what the pagan religion is, don't worry, guys. I'm here to explain it to you. I also don't know much about it. <laughs> So, uh, if you were looking for, like, a deep explanation on what this religion is... Yeah, dudes. Uh, yeah, I, I equally don't know. But I will say, it's freaking weird. Now, as you guys can see from approaching it, it's definitely, definitely something. What I want you guys to do here is I want you to listen to the sounds that this area makes and how similar they are to the Native American burial site. This is gross. This is gross. Not only gross, what the hell is that? But also super creepy. So when you first arrive here, you can actually inspect this course, this course, this corpse. You can write in your nice little journal in Red Dead Redemption 2 story. And for those of you guys that want to visit this for yourself, you can actually come right here. It's right next to the Awanjilla uh, Lake, right to the left of it. And you guys can see that this pagan ritual on the bottom right is so close to the Indian burial site. Now, here's why this is weird to me. There is a massive Indian tribe all the way up here in the north. Why wouldn't the burial site be closer? And the big question is, are these two places connected some way? Now, What's cool about this area is that you can actually grab this mask straight off this dude's face and you can wear it like so. In theory, this is a pagan mask. I don't know if it means I'm like religious now, but I can also throw a body here. Now, I'm gonna see what happens. I don't know if I throw a body at this spot what will happen but it doesn't hurt to try so what i would like to do ideally is to drop this body off here and just see what happens now 
You can see there's like a lot of markings on the ground. And I'm not really sure what they mean, dudes. But if I had to guess, there's four markings on the ground. So I'm going to throw one body here, one body there, one body in the front, and one body on the right. And what is this over here? It's a goat's head. Ooh, some valerian root. I'll take that. There's a goat's head as here. What the hell is going on, dudes? This is like some super creepy stuff because like that's a fresh goat head chop. So maybe I got to bring somebody alive. All right, Mr. Dead guys, you guys don't move. I'll be right back. Now, luckily enough for us, it looks like we found... Oh! Looks like we found ourselves a volunteer, guys. Sir! Hey! Sir! Please! No, uh, hey no, 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 no. Shh. Be quiet. You're going with the pagans no, no. now. Get these damn ropes off. Get these dang ropes off. Damn it, all the hell. Listen, you're going to a better place, sir. Help. Shut up. Now the fun starts. Oh. Volunteer number two. Oh. Alright, so we got two dudes. Honestly. That's the final straw. You're asking hey. for it. All right, we're going to hogtie this guy before the cops come. Quick. All right. All right, we're going to get across the river and back to our ritual site before the cops come. Go, 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 go. We're in the clear. We're good to go. All right. So that's two people we got now. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. This dude's falling off. We walked away and he's falling off. This is so weird, dudes. Whoa, what the? All right, I guess we're gonna choke him out. Maybe we should knife him, actually. Wait, don't I have a... I could've sworn I had a ritual knife. Wait, I just knocked that guy out? All right. What? There's gotta be, like, something I have that's like, wow. I'm, like, taking all these beatings in the face right now. You won't live through this. We got one guy knifed. Bloodshed. I can't believe they broke out, to be honest. I really wanted to throw him up there. Like, throw him on top of the rock and then kill him. I don't know if that... Let me see. There we go. Oh, hey, that's good enough, I think. Now, how do we kill this guy? With the cleaver, maybe? One of us. One of us. One of us. Maybe on his legs first. Did I miss? That works, I guess. Chop him up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, now that we have lots of blood here to really make this ritual go full circle, I think we have to light them all on fire. I, you know, I'm not... Listen, guys. I'm new to this whole ritual thing, but I'm pretty sure in a lot of rituals, they set stuff on fire to, like, cleanse the, the land. So... Looks about right. Top of the torch just lit. Wait a second. There's candles here. Can I light these candles? What if that was, what if that's what I was missing? I just need to light these candles. We're all out of, we're all out of Molotovs. Maybe we just needed one more Molotov to complete it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the chant. Yeah, I was really hoping something would happen here. There's gotta be more to this. There's, there's no way that there was just a, there's a pagan ritual here. And like, it's literally nothing. It's just, it doesn't make sense. This is a bigger secret here than we than we know. We got the goat's head. We got the dude in the middle. I offered two guys. Maybe I should have offered my horse, or maybe we should have got like a deer or something. I definitely missed the ball. I definitely forgot to do something. Let me know in the comment section what we could do differently. I'm thinking next time we come here, we bring the vampire. Let me know your thoughts. That would be super crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, that subscribe button. Buy some merch, link in the description. Follow me on social, links in the description. I'll see you guys later with a brand new video. While I'm looking out into this sunset, I think to myself, my goodness, Outlaw Gary merch would be such a great thing to have right now. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute. In the description of this video, you can buy some Outlaw Gary merch today. T-shirts, phone cases, and more. All links we found down below. Below. Pick up a hoodie right now. It's cold out. You need a hoodie. Pick up a hoodie today. Support the channel. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing across everything I do. And uh, I'll see you guys later for sure now because, dude, I'm, just, I'm so thankful. I don't know what to say. I'm just so, I'm thank you. All right?